Hey, how's it going? It's Andrew Russell here for another workout. Today, it's all about the double dumbbell workout. Four total minutes of work on two exercises, 30 seconds alternating for four times through on each exercise. So we're gonna do that eight times through, that little clump of four minutes, 30-30, two minute break, switch to a next set of exercises. I've got a set of dumbbells today, a water bottle, and a timer. That's all you're gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna go with pretty lightweight, just 20 pound dumbbells and uh, work through it. So get your equipment organized. I'm gonna get the timer started here and do a five minute workout, uh, warm up work for the workout. And uh, yeah, if you need a little longer, take a little longer. Otherwise, uh, let's get into it. All right, ready, let's get going. So just a little steady jumping jack to start. Next, we're gonna do a little marching, so we'll pop up, little taps. Just keep the legs loose, keep that range going. Swing forward, two hands, you get the knees a little bit of bounce to it. Nice and loose, backwards. Good, shake it out. And just get into a little squat. Let's do a little kick, three per side, you can always do a knee up too if the uh, full kick is a little too much. Two hands overhead. Let's swing up high. Now, with the hips nice and loose, let's swing around and back. And taking it easy in front. Nice and loose through the knees as you swing. Forward, reach, and back. Still just getting warmed up, easing up the range of motion as we go. Last one, jog it out, then a little quicker, jog it loose, then a little quicker, good, 
Now bring the knees up a little quicker. Good, jog it out. And again. Good. Down low. One more, and up top. Good. All right, 30 seconds till we start the first set. You should be all nice and warm, loose. Have your water handy. Four minute strong sets straight through. So 30 work, 30 work, 30 work, 30 work. Back and forth. Uh, the first exercise, we're doing lateral runs with a punch with the weights, and we're going right into a squat, curl, and press. So I've got my weights here handy. Let's get ready. Lunging and back. Step out, step four. And let's get ready. By our sides, squat down, curl, press. Down, curl, press. into it, lateral, and back. All right, right back into it. Down, up, curl, press. Remember, if you're getting a little too tired with the weight, you can bring them down, like I'm doing here, in between, coming up. Make sure you're not pinching with the low back, leaning back. Keep the chest forward and strong. one through, stay strong, and back. Last time through, last 30. Good, first set done. Let's grab a drink.
excellent job. So you get the idea. These four minute blocks, they're gonna challenge you on those sticking points that you find throughout the exercise because you're repeating, you're building up a bit of lactate, you're building up some fatigue in those muscle groups that we're targeting. And you also have to just push through from that mental stamina. 90 seconds till we go. Second set, we're gonna be doing a bent over row back and forth. That's gonna be paired with a standing lunge with the dumbbells in our hands. This will be a good challenging exercise, holding the core in place, staying strong through that, and also continuing to challenge all those pulling muscles while it's keeping the core strong and steady. Just take a little walk, breathe through it, shift your legs out a little. One minute until we start. Loosen the legs up. Almost there. All right. 30 seconds till we start. So another four minute steady effort. Try and commit to working all the way through. Straight rhythm and motion. So start out at a good challenging rhythmical pace. Something that you feel is gonna really push you, but that you can hold on to for the full two min uh, four minutes. Let's get ready. Two, one. Choose your posture. Breathe through it, full range. Right back into it. Straight on so you can see. The back stays nice and level. Good 45 degree angle roughly from the waist to the shoulders. Trying to keep it nice and flat, not curved. Switch right back in. 90 degrees at the end, point of the lunge, knee over heel. Last one. A little bend in the knees. Keep the rhythm all the way through to the end. Last 
peinture. That's it, we're almost in here. Just think we'll get to the end of this set. Focus on each little movement, keeping it solid. Time, very good. Awesome, two sets down. Reduce the weight, grab a drink. So we've got two down, same thing. You feel the fatigue through those big muscles to a stabilizing core as we work through that. 90 seconds till we start. The next set, we're gonna be working on hip extension with an alternating chest press. So still moving through that kind of core control as we move through some powerful dynamic motions. Then we're gonna go with a sit up with a weight, okay? So back and forth, two and two. Lots of core on this next set, so really be mindful of your balance and position. And uh, yeah, keep rocking it, keep working. 60 seconds till we go. Just loosen the legs up again. All right, and jog it out a little bit if you have space. Right back into it. Fatigue holding those weights up, just stay strong mentally.
Last time through. That's the third set done. Excellent job so far. Really, really good. Let's keep working, keep focused. We're coming to our uh, fourth set coming up. Next set's gonna be especially challenging. We're gonna be doing a nice slow push up with the dumbbells, as well as a plank row back and forth. So it's gonna be really challenging, really tough to work through, and uh, keep getting through this, all right? So keep focused. Even if you can't do something, you have to drop the weight a little bit, or adjust, go to your knees for the push ups, whatever it is, just keep working through it, keep that consistency there all the way through and just keep building so that you're positive, you feel that momentum and that you're making uh, strides all the way through. All right, last 30 seconds till we go. All right, so we're gonna do a nice deep push up. We're gonna do an alternating dumbbell press. So we're actually gonna go Let's go up to the uh, dumbbells and then come down and we'll go back and forth that way. One, two, and inside. Switch it up. Let's go single. Instead of going double, just go single arm. Back and forth. Set up again, nice and wide. Let's go again. 
really tough set. So challenging on the core. Excellent job getting through that. All right. Good job, let's stay focused. One more minute till we'll start again. All right, this time we're actually gonna drop the dumbbells for one of the exercises. We're gonna do a jack press using the uh, dumbbells. So a jumping jack with a little press up top, and then we're gonna follow that up with a plank T. So it's gonna be a great little exercise. All right, let's get ready for it. One more of each and then we're finished. So 30 more seconds till we start. Right back in the twig. So again, if you don't we're having trouble with the last one. So you're coming wide, popping up, wide, pop up with no weight. So it's like a little half squat and pop down in front and up. Remember, you can also go to just one weight, come down, pop up. Less variations right into the plank T now. Hand over hand. Try to find teeth. Back up. Again, remember, let's just close out strong, pop up, pop up. So whatever you need to use, single weight, double weight, keep working, keep focused, push all the way through. Double, we're almost there. 
Stay on it. Up, down, up. And get into a plank. If the tee's too much, lock right into a plank. Hold it strong here. Really good. If you feel fine, extend. Let's get to the end. Time. Very good. Excellent. So, fantastic workout. I'm glad you joined along and that you had some fun, hopefully. Uh, keep trying to motivate yourself, encourage yourself, come back to this one, work through it another time in the future, and just kind of compare where you were and where you are. And just keep trying to keep making those incremental gains. You don't have to get it all overnight. Just keep positive, keep working. It'll come, trust me. So thanks again, if you, if you enjoyed it, please share the challenge with someone else. Uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you for another one. Cheers.